Hello? Is anyone there? Oh, um, hello. Uh, my name is David. I work for the Moth Greenwood Police Department. I'm a detective. And are you the owner of this shrine? Yes, I am. I am the owner of this shrine. Can I help you, dear sir? Um, I'm here to ask you a couple few questions. It's nothing to do with the topic of the murder case that just happened last night. But I just want to know about something. I've been very curious for quite a while. I just want you, if you can tell me the truth. The curse about 21st of June. Can you tell me the actual true story? I heard many versions of it. A murder case, huh? Well, oh, well, you. Uh, oh, you wanted to know about the true story. Well, the actual true story itself, well, when Satan was jealous of his own first son, the Prince of Demons, he wanted him dead, dead for good. So he sent him to death. But suddenly, the Prince of Demons escaped and came to our world. He met a girl, fell in love, they got married. They were hoping to have kids, but one night, when the villagers found out, found out that the Prince of Demons was a demon? They wanted revenge. They didn't like the sound of demons. They didn't like hell itself. So, they were, they were going to kill him. His wife and the prince of demons ran up these stairs to the shrine. They were about to kill him, but instead they killed his wife. So he cursed this village on the 21st of June at this very shrine that two people would die because they stabbed his heart and stole his love. That's how it goes. Oh, that's just so sad. Um, uh... Has any of your family members died on 21st of June? Or have actually died? Um, yes. Um, <laughs> my husband died and my baby. And my mother died on the 21st of June. So, can you tell me how did your husband and your baby die, and your mom? My husband and I were going on a uh, escape. We were escaping from this, this, this village. I had my baby in my belly. It was almost due. I was so excited, so happy as well. Once we were about to enter, a car crashed into us and killed my husband and my baby. I managedly survived. The doctor said I can't have any more babies again, so I adopted a new child. Her name is Bexy, Bexy Brown. She's a very honest student. She's good at studying. I'm so happy to have a girl like her. Um, my mother, huh? Not really much to say about her. Well, can you please tell me about your mother's death? I just want to know. I understand if you didn't like her or anything. Just please? Okay. Then, a year later, after my accident, my mom hated my husband and didn't really care much about my baby. She wanted our family to die out, so she wanted the family tree to die out. She didn't want our son name ever be mentioned in this cruel, horrible world. On the 21st of June, my mom got strangled by my next door neighbor. I... My neighbor was dead a week later. They found him. He seen he was a drug addict, so he had too much drugs. It was really sad. Off. 
I didn't really care about my mom. She was horrible. She abused me sometimes. She was a bit crazy in the head. But I did care a bit. I'm sorry. I understand, Miss Brown. I understand how you feel about that. I know some parents can be abusive to people and you can hate them but also you can still love them inside. I understand about that. I have another question and this is the last question I have. Are the twins from the twin story still alive? Yes, yes the twins are alive. I met one a couple years ago. I think his name was... Oh, Jake Slayton. That was his name. He was telling me something that, oh, he said he was going to have a rough life. He said he erased his future so he won't know anymore, but it'll still happen no matter what. It'll still be the same future. He terribly wants to be with his lover, but he can't. Um, he told me that I should stay away from Jason. He somehow, I don't know, but he's some sort of guy. And, um, what was it? He told me something else. He told me soon he'll have an accident having two personalities by having a fight with someone. And live with that until the day he awakes up. <sighs> that was it. That's all I know. Oh, um, thank you. I'm surprised he would tell a person like you, but he probably does trust you after all. You're the owner of the shrine. <sighs> thank you. I better get back to the police station. Um, David, do you remember Kaya Usumaki? Kaya? Yeah, I do. I know one thing about her. She was something to do with Jake. Um, yeah. And when she died, the only two witnesses was Jake and Josh. Jake had to go to therapy for three years and they were drawn of the accident. Josh didn't seem to care as much, but after Jake was over with it, he seemed to be fine for now. He felt so horrible for that poor girl to happen. I understood she was buried in a way. Everybody didn't like her. Everybody always said she was a skank. And my mother abused her as well. Her mother was known as the Lucy Legend. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I felt so sorry for her. I could have did something, but I didn't. I'm sorry, Rachel. I wish I could help your friend. But I was too scared. Anyway, thanks. I'll be heading back. Hello, Rachel. I'm here to talk about the symbols. You know, the one I was so curious about. Do you still have it? Um, yes, I do. Let me just go and get the book. I've never seen you for a while. How things are going? Hi, David. Um, things are going alright. I still feel lonely without him. I was actually going to see you. Um, I knocked on your door, but I was still too afraid to see Josh. I know I understand. I know. I understand that he hates me, and I don't really like him as much. But he said you went to the shrine, so I came here. And anyway, I was heading here anyway. So, not a coincidence. Well, not a coincidence, I already knew where you were. 
Wait. Oh, I have something for you. Let me just get it out. Tis Rose. Tis Rose. Jigs. 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 I would say. I would say. They were going to they get married. They married. never they did. They didn't. Sad, sad. To see how, how love can, love can be. Um, here. It's some sort of demon language. I know that. But also, I can't seem to read it myself. It's really hard to read. I don't know demon language much. <laughs> Thank you. And I don't know either. We might have to ask Rachel. Yeah, we might have to ask Rachel. <laughs> Here we are. I have the book. <sighs> well, um, Rachel, can you seem to read this? Uh, Rose gave it to me. It seems to be in demon language. I pro- she said I need it for something? Demon language? Uh, sure, I've learned some. My daughter is my adopted daughter. Is a demon, so yeah. Um, well, it says 1911. Um, June the 6th. I was with my older brother. We were running away. Running, running. Trying to find somewhere to sleep, trying to some to hide and rest. We finally found a place. A woman that is in in this gorgeous house. She was so kind, she didn't have any children. But she wanted to. She did have a husband. But she just wanted to adopt us. Even though we may look like some young adults. My older brother. He was finding a job for me and him. So he worked at a factory and I worked as a babysitter. I was working for a rich family. They had two kids. A boy and a girl. The girl was named Caroline. And the boy was named Nick. The boy was about 17 I would say. And the girl was only 6 years old. She was so sweet and cute, but before I got there, she was the saddest child you can ever meet. So that's why they hired me. They hired me to make her happy. In the end, I did. I made her super happy. I love her singing. It's so nice to hear. When she sings, it's gorgeous. One night, one night, November, no November the 11th, 1912. Something happened. Something terrible happened. I was just busy putting Caroline to bed and singing her her favorite lullaby. When I heard some talking from downstairs, my older brother, my older brother, was talking to Caroline's parents to Caroline's parents and well I listened very carefully they were on about their own daughter saying it's a cursed child it's a cursed child my brother would seem to be super mad started shouting at them you can't kill your own little child just because you think it's cursed it's not the parents got mad they took the knives from the dinner table and tried to stab my older brother. But my older brother in the end stabbed them back. This place, the mansion, was full of secrets. The husband was doing some drug deals and the wife was, well, doing something way different than just being nice. So, he burned the place and took the kids. He took Nick and, well, Caroline to a, to the woman who lent us the house. So we ran away again. This time we did something different. That's the end. It's all I can read from here. That's the end of the paper. 
It seems to be some sort of diary. Thank you, Rose, for giving me this sort of sheet. I probably know exactly who this little paper belongs to. Yeah. Um, 